gotta say, day one of E3 kind of went pretty interesting or well? I, I can't really say. There was a few things that caught my eye and a few things that I was just like, meh, I'm not gonna even like put time into it because some of it didn't interest. Star Wars Battlefront 2, but yet again, it's gonna, probably gonna end up like Battlefront, like the first one for me. The one I didn't like really enjoy much just because EA's behind it. And I really didn't enjoy like much of the games EA has made or anything like that. I don't think I've ever enjoyed from them is Sims and that's probably it. But I gotta say, there's some pretty interesting stuff going on. Uh, this is also not live gameplay because I didn't want you guys to be putting through all the clicking and everything. But I gotta say EA started off like so bad. One, they miss the freaking like handshake or clap they were supposed to do during the whole intro. Like, watch this. How do you screw something up like that? I thought she was supposed to be like rehearsing and everything, man. Like, come on. But the worst thing out of the whole conference, the thing that everybody thought was well, everybody thought the worst was over since they, you know, like screwed up their intro and everything, but then they pulled out the like tragedy of Jesse Wellens. He he just came out, you know, he was starting out pretty like subtle and everything, but then he froze up. I am here to talk about Need for Speed um, Payback. Uh, if you guys didn't know Need for Speed Payback, I'm um <laughs> Yeah, it's a great game. Did not say anything for a while and made everything like so fucking awkward and we sat there like Is this man okay? Is he is he alright? I think you guys need to take him off stage because there's something wrong with him. Like, I didn't see that coming because Jesse's like a YouTuber, he does all these fake social experiments and everything, and you're just sitting here like Dude, you should be used to talking in front of people or talking to all kinds of random strangers or anything. Like, I was thinking he must have like missed like some words to probably read off a prop or something. Like, come on, man. You probably just I don't know what happened, but I'm probably gonna have to look up more information of what actually like went wrong with him. Like, if anybody knows, let me know, cause that just just swirl down the freaking drain after that happened. Now I normally don't do this whole thing like making videos and just talking about a whole bunch of subjects but you know what screw it I'm gonna just start it up and just go with it. Here we go. But there were a couple of games that interested me like uh, let's see I got the like sites here of the games that actually caught my interest. Sea of Thieves but that got pushed back it got delayed into 2018 which I'm kind of sad about because that was actually a game I actually wanted to try out and actually play because it also coming to PC. Then there was Middle Earth Shadow of War which I was actually interested in because I played a little bit of Shadow of Mordor. I still have not finished it. I should probably finish it. I'm not sure if everything got deleted because you guys don't know I had to restart my freaking PC and everything so yeah. A couple of more games came out, Assassin's Creed Origins, which everybody was like um, really hyped for because another like Assassin's Creed is coming out and I was actually pretty interested in that. If they do co-op, I kind of want it to be like Unity, the fun like version. And they did announce another uh, Life is Strange, which I do plan on playing like really soon through the Porter channel. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Then there's Destiny 2, which I'm actually wanting to play. I'm actually looking forward to that actually coming out. And there was a couple of more games that actually caught everybody's eye, like like something called Cuphead, which was pretty much like a couch co-op game, just everybody sitting there playing games together. And Metro actually caused my eye too. Because Metro, I never actually like played any of the like series. So I'm actually sort of like interested into it. There's so many games I have not played series for, but their new coming games are making me like, eh, maybe I should try it out a little bit. But the thing that I'm questioning them most about is bringing um, 
Well, me and Hollow were talking about this. Um, why the hell are they bringing Battlegrounds to consoles? Because that's gonna be like really weird to like actually see people play like Battlegrounds on like consoles. Because then the whole aim assist thing, I'm pretty sure they won't do that. Then everybody's just gonna be whiffing like hard. Unless you've been playing like shooting games on console for like years. They were making fun of Minecraft the whole time because <laughs> the new uh, consoles they were talking about, the um, Scorpio and XS crap, Xbox Ones, and only thing that changed about them is like 4K and enhanced resolutions and all that. So yeah, that's pretty good, but the thing is most people are going to get those consoles and not even have like a 4K monitor. We're just gonna sit there like, you bought it for no reason. You might as well go and get the 4K monitor along with it. Then Bethesda uh, came up around like midnight for us. Then we were just pretty much watching separate stream. I was watching Swordthor and he was watching um, Joss OG. Then as their conference started, it pretty much made people upset and hollow along with them that they were showing like pretty much old crap we already knew. like. Or seen like Fallout Shelter and then they were talking about Elder Scrolls Legend and everything like other stuff like updates and everything things to come to their games then they went on to the new games which were pretty much well kind of newish for VR they made a virtual reality of Doom which is pretty much called Doom VFR which is pretty much Doom in VR it's pretty much what it is then there's um, Fallout 5 coming to VR as well, and people were talking about, oh god, that's trash and everything, Then I was just sitting there like, meh, it's alright. I didn't really have a problem with the VR games, but I can't even play them because my PC is not up, like, all the way up there. I gotta upgrade my graphics card, and yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta upgrade. Then in three months from now, they're planning on releasing, like, a new DLC for, like, Dishonored 2. Which actually looks kind of interesting. I've been planning on getting into Dishonored 2 like sooner or later. Then they were talking about the Quake Championships, uh, where there was gonna be a million dollar like cash pool, and you guys could train and up for that. But then there were much more exciting news for like at least me. Uh, Evil Within 2 was announced, and I kind of saw like another Evil Within like coming soon because Rubric had like escaped from us. So, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. It's supposed to be like coming on like Friday the 13th of October. So I am looking forward to that game because you guys, if you have seen my Evil Within and how much rage I went through and how much it pissed me off, but yet I still kind of had fun with the game. But I'm still looking for this one because the trailer was like epic as hell and it made me like really interested and I actually want to like play it. Then there was Wolfenstein which I've never played pretty much any Wolfenstein games. You guys can be pissed at me all you want but I do like plan on like trying to try out the series before anything. Like start from like the very beginning then work all the way up. I don't think I can actually start from the very beginning because I'm pretty sure one of them was on the original Xbox. So I'm gonna start from where I can. Pretty much what I'm gonna do. Probably missing a lot of story in it, but you know, that's where all I got. And then there was Anthem, which really caught my interest because of the whole like multiplayer thing. And you guys know multiplayer like co-op is always like a plus for players because they like to play with friends instead of like solo a lot more. And we like being able to play with friends and be able to like challenge ourselves in like PvE a little bit. But then there's a whole bunch of like some Mass Effect fans like complaining that Bioware kind of kind of like abandoned them after revealing the new game. I, I don't think that's true. I mean, let's just let's be honest. Like they can't stay on like one like series for the rest of their lives. They gotta always like expand and move on. But then again, they're probably thinking of making another one. They're not gonna like completely ditch the series unless they're gonna actually say so. I don't think they actually did though. But if they did, then I apologize for you guys, because no, I wasn't like 
there for every last like conference, which I usually am like last E3, but yeah, this time I'm just like looking over the scraps and the only one I was able to catch was Bethesda and that was pretty much it. But Bethesda actually like got me interested into like looking at the rest of the E3 and keeping up with it. So yeah, that's pretty much my whole opinion on it. It's like E like day one of E3 w went like pretty well from what I saw for like me because there's a lot of games I'm like interested in. There's like a lot more, but I can't really find the ones or remember the names of them to be honest. But I'm pretty sure I'll come across them like right after the video because always happens to me. Oh yeah, Need for Speed uh, Payback kind of looks interesting, but I'm hoping it's like as good as Need for Speed Underground, which is probably my favorite one. Like Hot Pursuit was pretty decent, like for me, and probably Hollow's favorite, but Underground was probably my favorite hands down. I still got the PlayStation 2 version, so yeah, what does that tell you? <laughs> But uh, yeah, first uh, day of E3, going pretty well. So let's see what the rest of the E3 has to like offer. Uh, I will try and keep up with it the best that I can. If I like see old conference, well like conferences I miss or anything, I'll probably try and cover them. But just to let you guys know, I'm trying to keep up with everything. I can't keep up with like every single thing, but I'm trying to keep up as much as I can. So probably I'll make you guys another video, like, sooner or later. Meh. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video and the cringe that was EA, which is pretty much everybody called it. Like, nah, I'm not, I can't even end it off like that. Because people, oh my god, EA got so much shit. Because, just because of their intro to their, um... Just because of their intro to their conference and Jesse, like the intro, everybody like you know what uh, they they probably didn't rehearse or anything, but when it got to Jess Jesse, it like completely cringed. And some of their announcers like even like fucked up beyond that. Like one dude was like on um, what was it? I think it was called uh, a way out. Hold on, yeah, a way out, which was like. Pretty much like the land party typical like co-op game, and pretty much when this and pretty much when this conference like started, we were pretty much just sitting there like, oh, this should be good. Then the announcer he was trying to say, we want you to be able to, to play from your couch, but this man ended up saying, we want you to play from inside your couch. You and your friend to play it in your couch. I'm sitting here like, all right, so you know what, guys, I'm just gonna buy a couch. I'm just gonna hop directly into it. You know, just take cover, just started playing from there. It's like, I can't see the screen or anything, but you know, I'm gonna play from inside my couch. We were, me and Hollow like gave them hell for that. <laughs> like me and Hollow actually need to make a video together doing this and just like talking about everything. But yeah, I'll probably do that like next video, get him just like rant with me a little bit on the whole E3's things. But just for today, I'm just gonna finish this. He already just like texted me E3 and chill. But yeah, we're gonna do that now and I hope you guys enjoyed. Wow, day one going off great. Some good games I'm interested in and I hope you guys are interested in some of them too. But do tell me. Down in the comments, what games are you looking for from like day one of E3? Like, what games have got you like interested? But until then, guys, I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Peace out.